Hey guys, this is Tashina from Logical Harmony, and today I'm going to be unboxing the November Petty Vore Beauty Box with you. So if you're not familiar with Petty Vore, it is a monthly subscription box. Everything in it's cruelty-free, everything in it is vegan, and it's all natural. So when you subscribe each month, you get this box of goodies that just magically shows up at your door. And what's really cool is that Petty Vore also has an online marketplace. So if you really like the items in the box, you can go on there and buy replacements or buy the full size, and they carry them for a long time too. And they also carry other items from the brands in the box, and they're starting to expand into lifestyle stuff. Like they have Matt and Nat on there now, which is awesome. That's a line of like high-end vegan handbags. I'm excited about the changes Petty Vore has been making and I'm really, really excited to see what's in this box. I loved the past two different boxes from them. I'll link to those videos down below. So I'm super excited, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. So on the top is an illustrated card. This is there every month. Lately, the illustrations have been super adorable. They're partnering up with a new illustrator. And this is just, I mean, it says give thanks, perfect for November, perfect for this time of year. And on the other side, it tells you what's in the box and a little bit of information about the items, um, which is just great if it's something that's brand new to you. You can learn a little bit about it as you're trying it or before. The first item in this box is from One Love Organics, and this is their Healthy Locks Dry Shampoo Powder. I think, I think I tried this recently and I think maybe it was a vegan cuts box. I'm assuming, I don't think Petty Bear would repeat the same product. It was all right. It wasn't my favorite dry shampoo. It wasn't the worst. I love the packaging. The packaging is really pretty on all of their products. Yeah, just not super crazy about the product, but it's not bad. So I think if you're someone looking for a very natural dry shampoo, this is probably one of the better ones of those that I've used. The natural ones just don't really work with my hair, bottom line. Um, but of all the natural ones I've tried, this is probably the best. So I'm probably gonna hang on to this for travel or just gift it to a friend. Ooh, what is this? So this is from OBC Skincare and this is their Stress Less Body Oil. So it has jojoba oil with green tea, camellia seed oil, grape seed oil, primrose oil, essential oil blend. It's in this little pump bottle and I always really like when products come in those instead of a little like tube. Um, it's just easier to use. This smells really good. It smells like lavender, which makes sense if it's stressed less. That's really nice. Like the carrier oils seem to be a little more strongly scented than the actual essential oils, but it feels really nice. It's really moisturizing. I can see this being really nice to put on my hands before bed and just like take a deep breath. I don't know if you guys ever do that with like lavender oil or anything else that's really calming, but you should, it makes such a big difference. Ooh, this is so pretty. So Modern Minerals is one of my favorite mineral makeup companies and they recently created lip gloss. This does not tell me what shade it is, but it's this really pretty pink with iridescent. It looks like there's some silver in there. I'm really excited that they started making lip gloss. It's just a fun product, something different for them. Swatch that out. That's really pretty. It's like a sparkly rose color. Oh, it smells good too. So this is their Lotus Way infused emotive lip gloss in violet rose. So Modern Minerals collaborated with Lotus Way to make this lip gloss infusion. It smells so good. So it has a fragrance of lavender, chamomile, rose, and neroli. I just wanna keep smelling this. I hope this is an oil on its own too, but this is really pretty. I really like it. I'm excited to use it. The last item in the box is from P Pell Pele Beauty, and this is their Beauty Balm in Lux. I didn't know they made a Beauty Balm. That's so cool. I think it was like a year and a half ago when I co-curated a box of Petit Vore, we had their actual oils in there, so that's really cool to see a Beauty Balm version. It has all kinds of awesome things in here too, like rose flower wax, rose oil, cocoa, seed butter this little tub it smells good oh that's so nice I don't know like to the touch it just warms right up but then it just absorbs quickly like I just put that there and it doesn't feel at all greasy it just feels really really soft I'm so excited about this so you apply it to the face and neck after cleansing use morning and night or spot apply it to where you need it no most this is gonna be really great for me, I think with winter coming up, I'm starting already to get random, really dry spots on my face. So this is gonna be perfect to really just, you know, treat those suckers and 
get my skin back to normal. So those were the items in the Petty Vore November Beauty Box. We had the One Love Organics Dry Shampoo, the OBC Body Oil, the Modern Minerals Lip Gloss, and the Palais Beauty Luxe Beauty Balm. So overall, I think this was a really good box. I'm really excited about the Beauty Balm and the Lip Gloss. These are two brands that I already know and love, but these are new products to me. And that's one thing I love about Petty Vore is they frequently showcase new products from brands that they've carried in the past. And it's just a fun thing, you know, if you know it's a brand you like, I always, you know, like these two, I love getting new products from them. So I'm super, super excited about these. Um, the body oil, I think smells great. I'm excited to try something just a little bit different. This brand is new to me and that's always cool. And it smells really nice. And then the dry shampoo, you know, I'll keep around. Maybe in the winter would be a good time to try it because it's a little drier out, so. I don't know, we'll see it. Maybe I'll give it another try. It's a different season. I got it in the summer. So different season, maybe it'll, you know, react differently in my hair. So I'll give it a try and let you guys know what I think. Look for the full review of this box on logicalharmony.net. I'll link to the blog post down below so you guys can read more about the products. And for more updates on cruelty-free vegan beauty and lifestyle, make sure you subscribe to logicalharmony.net. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at logicalharmony. Have a good day.